No, hold on, stop. So what's happening is, you notice how your legs way this forward and your knees way up here. So I'm gonna say you're getting scared and you're you're getting more in your fetal position. I don't want you in the fetal position. I want you to just kind of melt onto him. Feel like, like have you ever melted a candle? Yeah. And how it forms to, to whatever it dripped on. Try to pretend like your body just became that piece of wax. Okay. You just you want to just drip onto him and stay in that position. Like it, it cools quickly in the position that it dripped, right? Yeah. So we want to make sure that you drip onto his back and you stay you can't change anymore there's no more heat on you okay okay we're almost done we're actually over time but i want to get this go good for you yep good so you tell me when you're ready so i'll tell you what when you're ready you do a double kiss then i'll know to to help you out There you go. You have it for a second. Put your stretch down in your legs. Remember, you're like, you're like wax. You're like wax. There you go. Oh, you don't have it now. There you go. There you go. There. Oh, kind of. Find it. Find it. Oh, you had a chance. That's okay. It's okay. You found it a couple times. Ready? There you go. There you go. There you go. There it is. Did you feel it? Okay, now don't, don't like, don't suddenly, ugh. don't suddenly turn the spaghetti there and slop all over him, right? You want to stay in control the whole time. The minute you sit on that horse, you should be like that drip of wax, okay? So no matter how fast or slow you go, sometimes you have to adjust yourself to make sure that you're in the right position, but you never want to totally change your position to where you start bouncing around, okay? We're going to do it one more time and then we're going to bring him in. Actually, we'll, we'll bring them in, but then we'll put them back out. Give them cookies, put them back out. Ready? Steer them too, steer them too. There you go, there it is. There it is, feel it? Okay, good, and walk. Good, good. There you go. You don't need to exaggerate, you just wanna let it move you, but you don't need to wiggle ahead of it. Just unless you're trying to get him to go faster, which I know you're not. We're just going to let him walk for a second. Once you get down to that blue cone all the way down there, you're going to bring him up towards the middle, and we're going to go ahead and get off. We went a little bit over, but it was good for you to get to feel that because you were more in control today than you've been in a while. Steer him up. Tell him to go. And you steer with your upper body, and you don't lean into your turn like you're on a motorcycle. Good. Good, and ho. Dismount. Yep. Yep. Good. Good. What's the next thing you do after you get off that? And then he does know how to put his head down so you don't have to rake it through his ears if you don't want to. Yeah. Yep. Good. Which one do you put it on? Just go down two. So you just look, 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 look. Just go. Oh. It's not, it shouldn't be that hard. You can make it harder than it has to be. Just hold this like with your whole fist. Push this back. Okay. It's perfect. Do the other stirrup. Good job. You did good. You did good. I know, I know. Just think, your whole life is about walking and walking fast. It's really not that hard. Did you say Teddy? Yeah, Teddy's over there. Chris is mowing. Oh, you didn't have to go down on those. That's okay. I wanted you to just do the straw. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. As long as it doesn't get, as long as it's not so loose, it slips under his belly. I don't have to bring this noodle with me.